Hi everybody, I'm going to show you in this video how to post a blog. It's a little different this semester because I have two different classes doing blog posts. The undergraduate multimedia journalism class and the graduate digital media issues class. You're both going to use the same blog, so the steps are the same except for one little difference at the end, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Remember, these blogs can be about just about anything you find that's relevant to the class. Uh, you can definitely and should post thoughts about the readings if it reminded you of something. Uh, but if you see an article you think is interesting, or a link, or a video clip, anything you think is relevant, feel free to post it here in the blog, and you should be doing weekly posts. For my example, I'm going to post a link to this article. iPhone next year on the 10th anniversary of the iPhone release may have a curved screen like the Samsung Galaxy Edge. So I think that's an interesting story. I'm going to copy the link, and then I'm going to go to the website. The login page is drkoffel.com WP Admin for work, WordPress administration drkoffel.com slash wpadmin, and then you log in with your credentials. Sometimes it takes me two tries, unless I say it takes me two tries, and then it works the first time. Called it. Okay, once you're in here, you go to Posts, Add New, or you can click Posts and Add New up here. Now, you'll see things on my screen that don't exist on yours. That's normal. I'm an administrator. You guys are contributors. So you don't have as many choices over here, but you will have Posts. So click Posts and then Add New. I'm going to put a little headline here. And then I'll post my link down here. One extra step, you don't have to do this. I'm going to highlight this and click the link icon. And then when I click this blue arrow, it's going to make this into a hot link. If you don't do that, it's fine because we can always copy and paste the link. But that puts a hot link on it. Last step, and this is important, the last thing you want to do before you publish it is scroll down and on the right you're going to see categories. Digital media issues or multimedia blog. And what I want you to do is make sure you do this step. Go down and click the appropriate box for which class you're in. So if you're an undergrad, you click the multimedia blog. If you're in the grad class, you click digital media issues blog. In this case, just for the example, I'm going to put it in the multimedia blog. I'll click that box, scroll up here and hit publish, and I'm done. And if you go to the site, which is just drkoffel.com, you'll see on the home page the new post. There's the one I just put. Your name will be over here. And... Uh, and it'll show you as a contributor, and then the link. So that's how you do it. It's pretty simple. I can look at all of the multimedia blog posts by clicking this link. You guys can do the same thing. These are all the multimedia blog entries. Or I can scroll down and click on the Digital Media Issues blog link and look at all of those posts. So you should also get in the habit of looking at your classmates' posts in the class. As always, email me if you have questions.